Hello, my name is Carrie Cottle and welcome to Read Aloud with Ms. Cottle. Today we are reading the super silly ABC book, P is for Pterodactyl. Huh? How does that work? Well, read along with me to find out. P is for Pterodactyl, the worst alphabet book ever. All the letters that misbehave and make words nearly impossible to pronounce by Raj Haldar and Chris Carpenter, pictures by Maria Tina Bedia. Published by Source Books Jabberwocky. Did you know that there are some really wacky words that start with a silent letter? Most of the time you can just ignore that pesky first letter and sound out the rest of the word. But be careful, there are other words in this book that don't follow the rules. Look to the back of the book for help with some of the most mischievous words. A is for aisle. The bread aisle has not been cleaned in eons, and nine tiny beasts meet to have a feast. B is for delium. We doubt anyone knows what delium is, but it's the only word dumb enough to begin with a silent B. C is for czar. Shh! The fascinating czar is secretly part Czech. D is for Djibouti. The boat race begins when the handsome judge from Djibouti drops his handkerchief from the bridge. E is for you. Eileen the U was so euphoric. The wolves were eaten. She even gave the eulogy. F is not for photo, phlegm, phooey, or phone. F is only for photo when you speak fluent Spanish at home. G is for gnocchi. The gnome yells, waiter, there's a bright white gnat nibbling on my gnocchi. H is for air. The honest heir admits that herbalism isn't his cup of tea. I is not for I. We asked the pirate if he has two eyes and he said, aye, aye. J is for Hialai. Juanita and Bjorn happily played Hialai before eating fajitas in Juarez. K is for knight. The noble knight's knife nicked the knave's knee. L is not for L. An elephant named L rode the L train halfway to El Paso and dined on hearts of palm with her folks. M is for mnemonic. But now, Mr. M. Can't remember why. N is not for not. N is for naughty children who will sing a solemn hymn when autumn comes to an end. O is for Ouija. The French leopard says we. Oui. We'd love to play Ouija with the wee witch from Oaxaca. P is for pterodactyl. Ptolemy, the psychic pterodactyl, struggles with psoriasis. Q is for quinoa. We can enjoy quinoa and quiche by the quays of Qatar. R is not for R. In England, the queen proclaims, we aren't saying the R's in butterfly, shark, or lizard. S is for seas. Cece swam through the debris in the seas to see the imaginary Isle of New Arkansas. T is for tsunami. The charging tsunami washed away all of Tchaikovsky's tchotchkes. 
you is not for you. You never could have guessed that the wolf was disguised as the you. V is for five. How romantic. W is for Wren. The Wren wrapped the rabbit's gift in red but forgot to write a note. X is for xylophone. Xavier's extra arm made him an exceptional xylophone player. Y is not for why. But Eve, who is wearing yellow shorts, yells, why is the Eiffel Tower upside down? Z is for Zhivago. Good night, Zhivago the zebra. I've enjoyed our rendezvous. Zzz. And now the worst glossary ever. It defines aisle, autumn, eon, delium, delium, czar, shek, debris, Jabuti, L train, El Paso, U, euphoric, eulogy, exceptional, photo, gnocchi, gnome, air, herbalism, him, aisle, highly, night, nave, not, Mnemonic, Oaxaca, we, Ouija, Phlegm, Fui, Pterodactyl, Ptolemy, Psychic, Psoriasis, Quinoa, Quiche, Quay, Qatar, Rendezvous, Solemn, Tsunami, Tchaikovsky, Tchotchkes, Wren, Xylophone, and Zhivago. That was P is for pterodactyl. Did you learn any new words in this book? I did. Guess what? I also learned about some new pronunciations. I love the surprising, silly pronunciations of these words that break the rules. You know, English is tricky because it's a language that is borrowed from so many different languages. And as a result, there's a lot of words that don't follow the rules that we would expect. I like how this book played with that and made it a fun little experience for us to all have together. Take care of each other.